Today I'm going to show you how to use your Mio X series interface uh, with an A and B computer. Um, almost like a redundant setup, but not quite the same. Uh, but we're going to set up two presets. We're going to do one for an A computer and one for a B computer. As far as setup goes, you're going to want to connect your Ethernet cable from your Mio X series interface to a network switch and then connect to computer A and to computer B. All right, so let's kind of look into the details of this. So let's start with our first preset. And I'm just gonna look you mostly through the routing um, as far as network connections and that kind of thing go. Uh, you can see other videos on how to do that. Um, but I'm gonna show you how the routing should be set up. So in this example, we're gonna kind of create a scenario. So I'm gonna pretend that our first device is drums, maybe an SPD or something like that. On DIN 2, we have guitar one, might be a, Kemper or Quad Cortex or something. And we're going to do another guitar on DIN 2, or DIN 3, sorry. And then on DIN 4, we'll call it bass. Maybe the bass has a piece of gear that needs MIDI as well. And then we'll do uh, front house on DIN 5, we'll call it. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to create an A and B for every device. So basically we want to take drums and we're going to take RTP1 and we're going to call this drums A. And then we're also going to send it to RTP2. And we're going to call this drums B. And then we're going to go to guitar and then we'll kind of start going down the list here. So now we're at three, so we're gonna call this guitars. And we're gonna say that the guitars one, two, and bass are all on a uh, are all on different channels, and we'll just put them through the one guitar uh, port. So we'll call that oh, guitars A is what I meant to put in there. Guitars A, call the second one, guitars B. And so we're gonna send to both of those from this guy on guitar. This guitars we want to send to both. On bass, we want to send to both. And then the next one is front of house. So we might want to call this, it might be like some type of console or something. So we'll just call this front of house, front of house A. See how easy it is to forget little, the details, but the details are what's important. All right. So now we have drums going to two computers and A and B. We got the guitar one to A and B. Guitar 2 to A and B, Guitar 3 to A and B, and Front of House 2 to Front of House A and B. Um, you also notice that I kept the routing on the USB DAW. We're not using this port, um, so I just kept the default routing. That doesn't make any difference to how things are being processed, but it is beneficial if you connect something up to the USB DAW. The default routing is still there, so you might as well just leave it there. All right, so this is from these devices into these computers. But now what we want to do is we want to go to the RTP side and create from the computers out. And this is where you're going to see some difference. Um, so let's go to drums A here. So on drums A, we're on preset one. So on drums A, we want the connection to drums. On drums B, we don't want any connection because on preset one, we do not want anything coming from the B so that your output switch so that you're not getting double sends out to gear. All right. So we're going to go to guitars A, and we're going to send to the three guitar devices. Guitars B, nothing. Front of house A should be on front of house, and front of house B should be nothing. So this is what we want to do for preset one. We're going to go back. We're going to go to presets, and we're going to save preset one, and we we'll, might call this main A. So now that we have the main one done, preset A, you just want to switch over, go to load, and load preset two. And then we're going to go back and we're going to set up the routing for preset two or our B computer. So let's go to MIDI routing. So we're going to have to redo this routing, but all the names are still here, which is nice. Um, so let's go to drums and we're going to drums A and B guitars. So this is the same thing as it was previously on the other preset, but the outputs are going to change this time. Bass goes to both and front of house goes to both. Now we're going to scroll down and this is where the difference will be and that's going to be in the RTP MIDI. So when we click on drums A, we're going to deselect. Drums B, we will select the drums. Guitars A, 
we're not going to have anything selected. Guitars B, we'll have the three guitars. Front of house A, nothing. And then front of house B will be selected. And so we just need to save that preset and we're done. So now we have on both presets, we have uh, all the devices coming in if you want to have input. But on the output, it's either preset A or preset one is going to be all going to computer A, but nothing to computer B. Now preset two will have everything going to computer B and not computer A. Now, if you want to figure out other ways of switching these presets really easily, um, I just created a video yesterday about how you might be able to do that with like a MIDI controller or even sending program changes from your DAW using our preset selector app. Um, so if you have any questions about that, just check out that video and that will definitely help you out. But if you have any more questions, just let us know.